The maintained button is a type of button that, when pressed, its state remains in that position. When released, the tag value also stays the same and does not change. According to the previous lesson, the on and off buttons. Here are examples of maintained buttons. For the on button, the tag is kept in state 1 when pressed because, under the press property, we use the set bit function, which sets the bit value to 1. For the off button, the tag remains in state 0 when pressed, as the reset bit command is used. Monitoring both the HMI and PLC simultaneously, when the on button is pressed, the bit M10.0 is set to 1 and maintains that state, even when the button is released. On the other hand, pressing the off button sets the bit M10.0 to 0, and keeps it in that state. The toggle bit button is a type of button that, when pressed once, sets the tag to 1. If the button is released, the bit remains in state 1. Pressing it again, since the bit was previously 1, will set the bit to 0 meaning the bit toggles its state with each press. For example, on the HMI, you create a toggle bit button, and name it lamp on or off. Under the press property, find the inverse bit function. This function will toggle the state of the bit when pressed. Now, pressing once turns the lamp on, and pressing again turns it off. This is the toggle bit button. The momentary button is a button that, when pressed, sets the tag to 1, and when released, resets the tag to 0, or vice versa. For example, controlling a lights on or off with two buttons. In this tag folder, create a new tag called LAMP2. The tag type is bool, with the address Q0.1. Then, create a tag for the momentary button to turn on the lamp, named HMI button lamp on, with the address M10.1. Next, create a tag for the button that turns off the light, with the address M10.2. Back to the main program and create a new network for the momentary button. The normally open contact is linked to the lamp on button tag, and the normally closed contact is linked to the lamp off button tag. The output is Q0.1. We also need to maintain the circuit when the on button is released by linking the lamp to tag to the normally open contact in parallel with the on button. Download the program to the PLC and check the results. When the on button is pressed, lamp 2 turns on. If the on button is released, lamp 2 does not turn off due to the maintained bit. Pressing the off button will turn off lamp 2. Go back to the HMI and create a momentary button. First, create LAMP2.
Then, use the button function to create two momentary buttons. To ensure the buttons are the same size, select all three buttons, then choose this function to set uniform dimensions. Assign the color changing tag to the indicator lamp. Under the press property of the on button, use the set bit function, meaning when the button is pressed, the bit is set to 1. The tag here is lamp on button. Under the reset property, reset the bit, so when the button is released, the bit is set to 0. The tag here is also the lamp on button. Now, when the button is pressed, the tag goes to 1 and when the button is released, the tag is reset to zero. Similarly, apply the same method for the off button. Run the program and check the results. When on is pressed, the light turns on. When off is pressed, the light turns off. Monitor both the PC and HMI simultaneously to check the results. Pressing on turns the light on, and pressing off turns it off. On the HMI, create a new switch. This switch will have two display states. If the tag is 1, the switch displays on. If the tag is O, the switch displays off. You can also change the on and off labels to other terms. For example, I labeled them as auto mode and manual mode. This depends on the function of the project you are designing. I will keep the default on and off. For example, display the switch state according to tag M10.0. To assign the tag M10.0, back to the screen, and drag the HMI button tag into the process tag property of the switch. You can also change the switch color. For example, when on, it will show green, and when off, it will show red. Change the color of the switch. You will see that the switch has three modes. The first is switch only, the second is switch with an image, and the last is switch with text. I will use the default switch mode. After setting the states, assign an event to the switch. The switch on property will set the bit. And the tag should match the switch state tag assigned earlier. The switch off function will reset the bit. And the tag here is also the HMI button. Run the program and check the results. Now, when switch on is pressed, the light turns on. And when switch off is pressed, the light turns off. Monitor the PLC and HMI simultaneously. You can see that tag M10.0 changes state according to the switch.
To change the button color, for example, you want the on button to be green when the light is on. Right click the button, then choose properties. In the animation property, set it similarly to the lamp, select display, then add new animation to add the property. When the tag is 0, it displays the default color. When the tag is 1, the button lights up green. The tag is the lamp tag. Select folder tag, then click on the button and drag the lamp tag to the location. Now, run the program and check the results. When you press the on button, the green light comes on, and you can see the button also turns green. When the off button is pressed, the green disappears because the light is off. When on, the button is green. 